So if I have somebody... <laughs> ready to find yeah. neutral. Yeah. All right. So how do you tell someone to find neutral posture standing? It's not easy to find neutral posture, right? It's, um, there's a lot of pieces, and the higher up we go, or the taller we go, so from meaning not kneeling and we're not sitting, we're standing, we have all these joints to deal with, right? So most people don't stand. Kim is pretty well weighted forward. Most people are not. And so if, if Kim erases her mind of everything she's been taught, the tendency for her it would be to hang back, right, and to be on her heels. Oh, that's a great question. Right? So if I see somebody like that, I think to myself, oh my gosh, I want to pick that all up. Right? That's, that's the first thing that I think. But then if I say, okay, just pick it all up, nobody has a clue what you're talking about. So a couple ways to find a posture in standing that I find are really useful. First of all, do you guys know what the weight division should be between balls of feet and heels of feet? Do you know? So typically, this is what I tell people. I, I um, tell a little fib. I tell them, I, you want to have 80% of your weight towards the ball of the feet and only 20% towards the heels. Such a and I know, I'm such a liar. That's actually not accurate, right? But that's what it feels like to somebody who's been on their heels their whole life. So really what we want is about a 60-40 split, right? So 60% of the weight really towards the ball of it, 40% on the heel. But if I tell that to Kim, or Kim's trained, if I tell that to an untrained person, they're, they're going to go, okay, well, I've got 60% on my, I've got 60, they'll stand here, I've got 60% on my balls and my feet. Like, well, actually, you don't. So, um, <laughs> so I tell a little lie, and I say, take 80% of your body weight towards the balls of your feet. And then the response is, but I feel like I'm going to fall over, fall on my face. Okay, where do you feel like you're going to fall, Kim? Just on your face. <laughs> face. Yes. So, yeah, so you're usually going to say that. And then I will tell them to relax their knees a little bit. Right, so now take that weight back 80% forward, right? And then what we, what did we see in that normal, the abdominal muscles are lifting up, right? So I work my way from the ground upward. I tell them to shift their weight slightly forward, to relax their knees. And if they have no idea what relax their knees means, I tell them to just wiggle their knees in place. And then then hold them, right? So if they can wiggle, they are not locked, which is my goal, is to unlock those knees. So weight forward, right? Belly in a little bit, so weight forward. Yes, belly in. And then all of a sudden she starts growing. And then I like to take my hand just to the base of the occiput there. And I imagine that there's a string pulling her head upward. Right, so I tell her to really think of something pulling you from the back of the head upward, or ponytail upward, or right here at the back of the neck, just lifting you upward. And her posture turns really beautiful. Now, in this posture, another great thing that I will do is I will have them stand in front of the mirror. So go ahead and relax, Kim. Right, back to sort of a more relaxed posture where pretend she doesn't know anything again. Um, and I will come around and I'll put my hands on the shoulder. I'll say, take a look in the mirror. And I'm just going to give her some pressure downward. And if you stay relaxed, and I give her pressure downward, you can see that she sways right in through the little back. So the body actually goes forward and sways forward mm. at the hips. So if I tell her now and I say, can, can you find that posture again that we just worked on? So shifting the weight towards the ball, 80% towards the ball of the feet. Knees relax, belly lifts, and that nice stretch of the back of the neck there, holding there. Two things. One, I can give her pressure here, right? There's no longer a sway in the lower back, right? So there's no movement. The weight of my hands is just going down through her body and out through the ground. That's what we want. We want them there, going through the ground. The other thing is if I push her, she doesn't go anywhere, right? So if I, <laughs> I couldn't tell her I was going to do that. Before. But if I, if I bump into her, right, she doesn't move. Now go back to your other posture, and I bump her, and like, everything moves, right? So it really, and she wouldn't be able to, she'd have to step back. Like, she won't be able to catch herself if she's in a bad place already. So those are a couple of tricks that I like to use, and that's how I would kind of position somebody 
in standing, I just start at the floor and work my way upward. Now there are a whole bunch of ways to get somebody into a better posture, but this is a great place to start, I find. So try it to start, and then if you have a better way that works for you with your clients, you can change it around, but at least you have a starting place. 